What's up everybody? Quick little pro tip here for you. I'm getting ready to do my final finish on all my trim and built-ins and stuff like that throughout this house. Getting all the trim package sprayed out with my lacquer, right? So what we're doing essentially is we have trim work and then built-ins and then those built-ins door fronts and stuff like that that we need to also spray, right? So it's really essential that when you're doing that kind of thing, that you want to make sure if you're not doing the door fronts right now, if you're on a bigger project, you're doing them down the road or like closer to the end of the job, you want to just make sure that those colors stay consistent. And the best way to do that, guys, is to pre-plan on your job, right? And kind of figure out how much material you're going to need. So what I have going on here, guys, is I have all my lacquer, if not a little bit more, of what I think I'm going to need to get this all done. So I have five pails here. I've already got my first coat on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take these pails. There's a brand new one there. These ones were new. Um, and one of a half from my first coat. So essentially what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to box these all together. It's called boxing the paint. At least that's how we refer to it. So I'm gonna box this all together and make sure that these pails are used for the built-ins, the trim, and then also the door fronts that are gonna match these built-in units, right? So if I go to another floor and start there and say it's not gonna be enough, I might and probably will just try and save a pail or two of this stuff for those door fronts. Because now that I've boxed these all together, you know these are all gonna be the same. I've checked the color chips, they do the matches. Very, very important guys, make sure all of these chips, when they make each pail, that it's consistent. You get one pinkish pail and you box it in, to, in together with this, you could have a problem. Now, this is for the lacquer guys. So, I mean, maybe for walls and stuff, it might not be that complicated, but for the lacquer in a huge custom home, box the paints, think about your, uh, your next step, pre-order. If you over-order, I mean, it's better to have too much than really not enough and then have to try and start with fresh paint on finished coats, final, final finishes. That can hurt, that can really hurt. So essentially guys, like I said, I got all this lacquer box together. I know this color is gonna be consistent, matches my chips, clients happy, it's gonna be consistent all the way through. So later on, when I go to do these door fronts, I know they're gonna match their built-ins. One isn't gonna be a little bit lighter comparative to the built-in unit itself. That happens, and then that's very hard to fix sometimes. Sometimes you gotta start from scratch on your material, which is costly, but then sometimes you get that match again, ooh, and depending who you're working with, it can be very, very dangerous. So that's what I'm doing here with the lacquer, guys. Also, you wanna do this, it's probably even more important with this when you're brushing and rolling, in my opinion, because I find what a lot of guys do is they start with their first coat, brush, roll, whatever it may be. Um, but when you go to do that second coat, you don't wanna start, say your cut or roll with one pail and then do your final, final roll with a fresh pail. If you have two five gallon pails, you gotta box them together right from the beginning. This is gonna save you any discrepancies in the colors. Sometimes what happens is, you know, you get a picture frame all around because your cut doesn't match your roll. Sometimes people think, oh, it's maybe it's the roller, it's, it's different texture or smoothness than the brush. More than likely, the paint wasn't boxed together and you're getting a slight difference between the two pails. So whether it's two gallons you're doing in one room, mix them together right from the beginning. If it's for ceilings, same thing. Same thing, all the box or all the paint needs to get boxed right from the beginning. And that's the best way to save you from any headaches, guys. So there's that pro tip. Hope you guys are having a good one and kill it this year. Much love from Top Line.